All right, let's let's do some zootin' and a tootin'. Today we're doing a five dungeon sanity scene where we have to beat any five dungeons. We'll spawn the bridge to Gannon's castle and we gotta go kick his butt. Um, all the dungeons are shuffled around though, so we will have to look into the dungeons and see what they are and figure out where are the ones we can beat. Um, yeah, it's gonna be a little spicy. So here we go in five, four, three, two, one, go. Uh, interesting. Zip zap zoop doo bop. And Kimon has already gotten her ball in the closet. Why am I not surprised? really does her best. Proud of her. I can't believe Kimon used to just like chill out alone all day while I was at work. Like that just seems like so evil of me to do. Dang it. At this point. Like it's not because I had to, you know. I had to work, but like I used to work three jobs at once. And I was like hardly home. I like came home to sleep and eat. Not m mostly eat at work, but like, you know. And she'd snuggle with me when I was home, but I look back on that and I was like, what did Kimon do all day? Probably was sad. Feels bad. Like, I'm glad she has me now. Uh oh. I fell. -y. You know, I should have gotten that. Uh, rupee. I'm gonna grab it. I can buy a shield. Oh yeah, she probably slept all day, but like... In reality, I didn't give her a lot of attention because I was just gone all day. And I'd basically come home and snuggle with her and sleep. Like, that was it. I wasn't like, you know, like now I like play with her every day because I have time. I just didn't have that before. I'm with her all the time now. Came in here first. Take. 
Pokemon has to go to the vet next week. Uh, less, less about a week and a half from now. She's got to get up. Getting some blood work done. Follow up appointment for uh, her kidneys just to check on how they're doing. I think they're checking some other stuff too. I don't know. I don't remember. It was so long ago I made the appointment. It was one of those like she was at the vet and there's like, they're like, yeah, we'd like to see her. Uh, in January in like three months or whatever uh, to just see how she's doing and see if anything has progressed. So I think they're mostly- I know the big thing they're checking is kidneys. And also why the heck she's gained weight probably. And I'm wondering the same. <laughs> Because last time I went, she went on a diet and she's gained half a pound since then. So, you know, that's great. Kitimon's cute. Who's cuter? Yoshizawa or chat? Check out what's in Dodago's cavern first. Then we'll probably warp. A waifu. Is a waifu. Hima's just staring under the closet, looking for her ball. It's kind of pathetic. And that always like blows my mind thinking about it. The fact that so many people know who Kitty Mon is and, and love her. And she just has no idea. Like it's kind of fucked. Um, 
I'm just gonna save right now. Oh, child. Is Fire Temple. Melon is dead. Is it bad that I looked at the I looked at the Temple of Time being closed and or open and I thought that was weird? Hi, Navigator! How's it going? being a little plump. my family that Spike and I got married so I finally got to spam the internet with some pictures from our wedding and I'm gonna I'm, I want to spam more but I don't know how much is too much <laughs> aren't they so nice the the photographer we had was incredible like I've been dying to share those photos, but I and I was going to uh, put them in Discord, but I got scared that what if somebody I don't mean, want somehow that pic the pictures to get out before I had told my family. So and then we also took pictures. I only put them on Discord, but um, when we went to Disney back in September. <clears throat> um, I wore a white dress to Magic Kingdom, and we had, like, wedding ears that we had bought for when we were planning to get married at Disney World. Um, and we took pictures at Disney World, and the, the Disney Photo Pass people who took those pictures did a really great job, too. Um, those are free fo- like, I pay for a Photo Pass with my annual pass. That's like part of the annual pass. Um, so like they're they're technically not free, but like it wasn't like I was paying for a photo session. That makes sense. Um, but they did a really really fantastic job too. So 
I have lots of photos to share. Yeah, my, uh... Oof. Telling my family, uh... Oh, I have to do the counts. Um... Telling my family who had, uh... Various responses. The first person I actually told was my dad, because he... Uh, dropped off presents on Christmas Eve for us. And, uh, he stayed in chat for a little bit. And, um... My plan was to tell everyone at Christmas. I didn't want to wait any longer, so... But I wanted to tell who I could tell in person. So, told my dad... First, and... He was speechless in a good way. Like, he was very, very happy. Um... And he went on this little speech about how he was, he was, he said, like, as a dad, all, all you want is for your daughter to, you know, end up with a, a good guy who is genuine and really cares and takes care of her. And, and he's like, Spike, I, I knew the day I met you that you were, you were a good, genuine guy and would take good care of her. And I'm so happy that... You two got married and it was so sweet. It was really, really sweet. He got like emotional. It was so sweet. Um and then uh he so then my so my dad's side of the family, we usually celebrate Christmas on Christmas Eve, so after that, he went over to my grandparents' house with my aunt and cousins, and um, I, ga I, sh I gave him some of the photos that I posted. I sent them to him, and what he did was he just group texted everybody the photos while they were all together, and my cousin was the first one who saw it, and she she said she gasped out loud and was like, and everyone was like, what? What happened? And uh, then I did a, we did a video chat with everyone. We, we got it on a Zoom call and everyone was really, really happy on my dad's side. Um, I think they were a lot more understanding about the whole like, you know, pandemic thing. And we just wanted to do our own thing. Um, I also told them that we're going to do, we are going to do like some type of celebration this summer. Um, which my dad already was like, yeah, I'll help pay for that. So that was really, yeah, that was also unexpected. Um, but that was good. Um, my mom's side was a little bit weirder. Um, my mom was surprised because she was, it was funny because when we went to Hawaii, my grandma on my mom's side was very insistent that we were there getting married. Like she knew, she knew. And my mom, my mom told her, no, they're not. They're there for work. She, they're not getting married. Like my mom was, did not expect that at all. So, um, there's that. Your time is zero. Ooh, that could be tricky. Um. So, my, my grandma on that side is very much, she wanted, she was the one who really wanted me to get married in the Catholic Church, so, she like wasn't, I don't think she was super happy about it, but, and she kept like insinuating that my mom wasn't happy, and I know my mom wanted to be there, but like, I also I told my mom from the beginning that I wanted to do a small thing. So, I, I don't know. My mom didn't like express to me that she was upset when I told her. She was more shocked, I think. And then my, the thing that got really bad was, uh, my grandma asked me if I was Mrs. Vegeta now, 
And she's like, so what, you're you're Mrs. Vegeta? And I was like, no, I'm I'm still I'm still a reaction. And she's like, like, that's not okay. So that's 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 horrible. You can't do that. You need to change your last name. And I was like, I don't really want to. I I I I identify as as Miss Reaction, and that's who I've always been, and I don't think I should have to change my name because of that. And and Spike Spike agrees. And she was like, she's like, it's an honor to take his last name. You you need to unify yourselves by having the same last name. And then I said, I said, you know, maybe he should take my last name. It'd be an honor for him to have my last name. It'd be a great way to unify ourselves. And then she got really upset. <laughs> Cause she, she's like, that's even worse than not taking his name. She got so No, 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 call me Mrs. Nukes, Mrs. Nukes. I like Mrs. Nukes. But yeah, my grandma was like, she was like, well, when I send you letters, I'm going to address you by his last name. And she's like, and I don't care if you don't like it. And I said, I don't mind it. You can call me that. I just don't want to legally change my last name. And she, she got so huffy at me. And <laughs> she's like, well, sounds like you have a lot of problems right now, don't you? <laughs> and I was like, not really. I think you have problems with it. I... <laughs> She was so not happy with me. Oh my gosh. So, uh... <laughs> I don't Well, that's like... It was funny because after that, she passed the phone to my grandpa. And my grandpa said, too, he's like, he's like, you know, I do agree with your grandma. You should change your last name. And, but he said, I also understand, though, right now... With the pandemic, everything's pretty low staffed and it's, it's probably a lot to try to go through that process right now. And I was like, thank you. Yeah, it is. It really is. Like, I don't want to think about that right now. So I'm glad that he at least had like that reasoning that like, yeah, it is kind of like if you were to want to change your last name right now, it'd be a lot of work and a lot of stress. And it's already, like changing your last name's already a really complex, stressful process. Add on the caveats that like COVID have brought with like, just like staffing and everything and how, how you have to go about making some appointments and stuff. Like, yeah. So I'm I'm glad he at least had like that reasoning. Mhm. Mm and that's like, you know, I've talked about to I try to explain to her I'm like, you know, my like my degree and everything and my papers from like getting my degree those are all in my my current name and that's like a thing within i'd say like that's more of a thing now especially if you're someone who yeah like you have your like you're a doctor you have your phd that's even more of a thing but like so i don't want to not be who i am you know, I've been, I've been this name for like 30 years. I don't want to. I'm just not interested. And I've always, I've actually always been that way. As when, even when I was like a kid, 
I was like, yeah, I don't want to ever change. Like, I thought about that. I would like think about whenever I had a crush on someone, like changing my name to their name. And I never liked that. I remember never liking that. And that's always been a thing. <laughs> yeah, it was funny. I was talking to a, a friend of mine who she got married like a few years ago, like before the pandemic. And and I was telling her how I was like, yeah, I don't really want to change my last I want to keep my last name. And she's like, she's like, you know, honestly, as someone who wanted to change their last name, I almost regretted changing my last name because of how much work it was to do and how much of a process it was. So she was like, if you don't want to change your last name. Yeah. I didn't do the front cows, did I? I'm all over the place. Did I do the front cows? <clears throat> In La La, did I do all four cows? I genuinely don't remember now. We were talking about my family and then... I don't know what I've done. Now I'm all confused. Am I really eating the carpet? Ma'am. Okay, I thought I somehow skipped those, yeah. Oh, and then, oh, then my grandma made a big deal about, she was like, she's like, well, what does your mom think that you didn't change your last name? And I was like, I don't know, we didn't talk about it, and I really don't think she would care. And so, like, after I got off the phone with my grandma, I went, I had, I had to go do something, but then I, like, messaged my mom later. I was like, hey, just so you know, grandma's really upset about this. Um, she's probably gonna bring it up to you. So, just a warning. And she's like, yep, I just got off the phone with her. Like, she called my mom immediately. She called her immediately about it. <laughs> And my mom was just like, yep, I don't really care. <laughs> she was like so convinced my mom would be pissed that I didn't change my last name. I was wondering, Joel, I was like, that looks like either a cat touched your phone or a baby. <laughs> no worries. Nuclear reaction reaction.
I was useless anyways. But yeah, that's how my uh, family reacted to finding out that I got married. Apparently one of my like second cousins he changed his last name to his wife's. And me bringing up Spike, maybe changing his last name to mine. Oh, she went on a whole thing. Because apparently a bunch of people in my family was up, were upset that he changed his last name to hers. I, I, I don't know. I, I just, I guess to me... I don't understand why that's such a big deal to other people. I don't know. Like, shouldn't you just do what makes you happy and it doesn't... I feel like it's something that shouldn't hurt other people, you know? Yeah, they're very... Yes, they're super like that. That's my... My grandparents on my mom's side are very... Traditional, yes. That is a hundred percent a thing, yeah. Um I my grandparents, they met in high school, they got married at 18, they had kids, their first kid by 20. So like yeah, it's a whole thing. Yeah, it, 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 that's like, yeah, the fact, like, I brought up, my grandma said, like, it should, you should be honored to take his last name. It will unify you. Like, that, it just sounds, I don't like the way that sounds. Like, and then the fact that when I said that he should take my last name, it should be honored, she just, like, scoffed at that. Like, you know, it's like, why, why should it be an honor for me to take his name, but... Uh, uh, disgusting if he took my last name. Like, that's very... I do not like that vibe. That is not a vibe that I do. Yeah, that's a thousand percent how we feel, Felly. And, like, and I asked Spike many, many times before we got married if he would feel weird if I didn't take his last name or if he'd have any, like, any negative feelings about that. And he every time, and he still reassures me. Like I told him what my grandma said, and he still was like, "I just want to reassure you, like I have no problem with you not taking my last name." And uh, he's like, "I totally understand, and I want you to be you." So. Yeah, exactly. Well, that's like, isn't that part of what it was like? when you look like historically that it's because it's like a ownership thing like that like I'm talking like back in the day like and I'm like you know people if you want to change if you want to change your last name do it like but there shouldn't be any pressure to change your last name if you don't want to if you get married Another thing like she brought up was like she's like oh I bet his family is really upset that you didn't take his last name and I was like they don't really care and she's like they probably don't care because you're new and they don't want to show you that they care and I was like no because I didn't have he had that conversation with them not me and they they're like okay his uh sister-in-law kept her last name for a while after she married his brother. 
Yeah. Yeah. Well, that's like she did that with his family. She said that my mom would be upset. Like, like no, you, you're the only one who's really upset about this. trying to think of where I want to go. Oh, we need to go out to the desert to uh, check what's out there in spirit. Yeah, that's about the only that's the only dungeon we can enter right now, besides from the Dongos, which is Ice Cavern. And the graveyard is Java Java. Bomb squad. <laughs> thank you, thank you, thank you. I appreciate the support. Thank you. Hey. Alright, spirit is spirit, which I can't do anything in spirit because I don't have second strength and I don't yeah. So we're gonna go adult and I guess we're gonna Go out to GTG. Oh yeah, I can go out to GTG. We'll do that next. Oh, it's just water temple though. Well, that answers that. I could go to Ice Cavern. I could go to Ice Cavern. And I think that's what we're gonna do, because we're running out of options for things that will be things. Things that will be things. Oh, wait. Oh man, now I'm all heated again. <laughs> I'm reheated about all that. That's what we're doing. Okay, I'm gonna read these things. Oh. So. Market is on the way to Queen Goma. Alright, I'm gonna waste a bomb chew here. again never feel shame if you have to play on an easier difficulty on a game because at the bottom the bottom line i think is that video games are meant to be fun 
And if experience is unenjoyable to you, unless you turn it down a difficulty, do that. Like, I feel like there's so, like, we always feel, I'm also in that boat where I feel, like, shameful for, like, having, to, if I have to play on an easier setting. But yeah, video games are meant to be fun. Like, yeah, and that's like, well, I say like, you know, I think people on that similar vein, people get enjoyment out of different things. Like some of us want to have, be challenged or some of us just want to enjoy the... The, like, story or the gameplay, you know, like. It's like we were talking about uh, the other day. Like, there's so many different ways to, like, play Pokemon games. Like, some people like to shiny hunt. Some people like to just play through the game. Some people, you know. Some people want to catch all the Pokemon. And that's okay. Like. Like, no shame, you play the game in the way that makes it most fun for you. Hey! Thanks, Richie Rich. Hold up. Yeah, I love when video games have options, like, because even if I don't use them, there's somebody out there who, yeah, like, with, like, accessibility and stuff, like, there needs to be more options, like that. Right, right, left. Ooh, do. We need two rights. Is this one a right though? Nope. Ian, you can't guess on the last one. <laughs> that just makes it a 50-50. Yeah, it's, it's, uh, new for my background, yeah. I put it up yesterday. Alright, ice cavern.
Oh, I can do hammer shucks. Even think about that. Let's me do child spirit checks. Oh yeah. All right, I decided to help her. <laughs> Ima needed some help. gonna be 11 uh in like april and I just like haven't gotten along recently. Oh my gosh, I need to get, get the things. All right, I, can, I need to come here as a child. That's like actually what needs to happen. Then I can get that slingshot and I can get that strength. Oh, 
Yeah, it's just like I'm feeling like I can't play well. I don't know what it is. I've not been feeling like my best. So like, frustrating. Are you freaking kidding me, dude? I I don't know why I can't do jack shit today. I I am so beyond frustrated. Oh my god, what am I doing? I didn't even kill him. Gosh. Oh my gosh, you guys. Right, I don't like to get frustrated on stream. I just... I, last night I was having issues, and now we're having issues again today, and I don't know why. I don't know what's not clicking. Okay, so I don't need to jump slash that. Now I know. I thought you had to jump slash there, but I guess you can just jump. Um. Yeah, it's like, here's- the reality is you can't be good every single day, but like, it's, ugh. It's hard when it's like, this is, you know, this is my, my full-time job, and if I'm like having an off day, and there's nothing I can do about it, it just sucks. Like, it just straight up sucks. I don't know why he did not shield turn anyway. That was weird. He did like, not a full turn. I don't even have my sword out. See? We're just like, it's not working. Something is just not working here today. I... Are you kidding me? Why is he not turning correctly? Oh my gosh. <sighs> I just had to like slow it down. Okay. Sometimes you just gotta, yeah. Get back to business. Sorry, I... I trying. stream <laughs> I don't want to lose it but I feel like I'm gonna lose it at this point <laughs> Hey! 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 
This is a disaster. Give me all your sanity. This is a hold up. <laughs> That's how it feels today. The game really do be like that. Actually, I should, uh... We have a hammer. I need to do hammer checks. I'm... I'm upset. I'm just upset today. Hello? I need to decompress. Bones Day. I like that. Like, I actually 100% agree with that. But way too many bones. We have so many bones today. Too many bones. I have too many of them. Hello? Check. 
things I could be checking right now, so like, that's part of the issue. And we just have areas that are like locked away here, so. Oh, I don't know. Hello? is too demanding. Do you think she runs this place? She can't keep getting away with us. cavern with that bottle, so... saying no to Spoon. I feel like I need to start saying no to Kitty Mon. That sounds like a very daunting task. Though. Like, how could I? start standing up. Huh? <laughs> 
potentially hard require that 50 so mm, there's not really a way to know you know what i earned this is too loud. I I can't concentrate when I hear Spike the whole time. It's like shouts. That's the problem, Spike. Kitty Mom's fault. You know, if we weren't renting. On 
once again. <gasps> Kitty Mon gets her way and more. Not only did she get into the room, but now she's getting cuddles. Kimon always comes on top. Comes up on top every time. No one can resist her. Oh, heck. Look at this baby. Great, now all I can hear is Spike yelling. I didn't close the door. Now I'm trapped! <laughs> Kimon. What do we do about dad? Why did I try to put him in a bottle? These fools need to go. Precious baby. Oh, I love her. <laughs> oh, we don't deserve Kimon. her. I don't deserve you. You're so loving. Gimad's melting! Why do cats melt? that yet, but... What do I do now? I'm still in a weird position here. Ugh, Kimon. Ugh, oh, Kimon. Yeah, Kimon, you're kinda in the way. No, oh, you were in the way! man. Alright. Um, now we can logically go to, uh, the river as a child, which is good, because that means we can get our strength to and our slingshot. He just kind of broke. I'll grab this, just in case. Okay. I think I'm gonna take a stretch break here, and then we'll go child and do that stuff, so... Yeah, I think this is a good time to take a little break, so... Get up and stretch yourselves if you need to, and...
I'll be right back. I'm like, ugh, I'm like hurting today. My back is not, my bones feel like I have too many bones. I have too many bones today. My body is hurting. I like just can't get comfy. Dap, I'm so proud of you. You did it! How did it go? Yay! I'm so glad to hear that! See, 
I told I told you it. The 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 COVID vaccines don't hurt. They're they're very easy compared to other vaccines. Yeah. They're very easy shot. Thankfully. Yeah, I'm so proud of you. I know that was like a big thing that you were for months saying how you need to do it, but how you were really afraid. Uh, that's huge. Yeah, Dep, make sure, keep moving your arm, because otherwise you're gonna get real sore arm, and just make sure to hydrate yourself. Those, those are the two things that really, really help with uh, the after effects. Yeah, but you've got it. Now you, I think, now you know, Depp, how easy that was. And it's, it's just going to be the same thing again on the 25th. So, you've got this. Yeah, it's, I, yeah, that's, I was trying to tell that to family that, like, I know so many people, yeah, that in our, uh, Rope lives in the same area as I do, and there's just an alarming amount of people who have been getting it, and I was, like, trying to explain that to my family before Christmas, oh, there it is. There it is. That opens up the seed. Um. Yeah. It is just gonna get. Oh gosh. And then the. I saw so many people getting together for Christmas, and people are gonna get together for New Year's Eve. Yeah. Nope. Nope. It's gonna be bad. It's already bad. Yeah, it's definitely good. I'm glad you got vaccinated because numbers are definitely going up. We needed, we really needed a hook shot though because we need access to the other dungeons. Now we can do that. Uh, I need to go grab though the strength and stuff here. Because now we can get into Forest Temple entrance, we can get into Fire Temple entrance, and we can get into, uh... get the Kokiri sword without 50 of these. I realize I don't have water and there's a kitty mon on my lap. Look at this baby! He's got the blanket. <laughs> Ears flipped. She's so happy. Purrin, purrin, purrin. I don't think any
anyone will ever love me as much as Kitty Mine does. Like, straight up. I don't think it's possible. This kitty loves me so much. I don't ever see anyone loving me as much as she he does. so unconditionally and so strongly like I am like the world to Kitty Mon that's the other thing too this is like Kitty Mon's a cat she doesn't have much she has she has food she has her, her toy balls, and she has me. That's it. And also the, the human who feeds her. She tolerates, but he's very loud. I do like how loud he is. You don't. He's very upset with how loud he is. What little baby? slightly. Oh. Iman, why you gotta break my heart like that? I just talked about how much you love me. Swords on fifty skulls. So, uh, not looking good on that front. <laughs> the 
Fish wants to leave the room now. I can't with this cat. <laughs> she just never can be satisfied. <laughs> I know that's the thing, Kimon's gonna want to get back in real soon. I already know it. I just, I can't leave the door open. I can't. Just while I had the door open right now to go, I went to grab my water while letting Kimon out. Spike was going, oh, no! I can't I can't do that when I'm doing my own stream. It's it's way too distracting for me to listen to spike noises. I need a house. That's really, the bottom line is I, your girl needs a house. So there's more space. Maybe I can put Spike in an office in the basement, like in a nice finished basement. And I'm down in the base. There needs to be more space and more walls between Spike and I. I think we also, we just, we live in an apartment and the walls are thin. So like, <laughs> It's rough. It's rough for that reason. And I don't blame, like, this is, like, not me being, like, I'm not annoyed with Spike because, like, I understand he's in, like, performance mode when he's streaming, so, like, and he does a good job of what he does, but sometimes I'm annoyed with the, the fact that I can't get away from the loud Spike noises. Like, I just, I, there's no escaping it. I 
And I also have to like worry about like our neighbors and stuff too. Like Momams were always really stressful because I'm like they would go so late and he'd be loud the whole time. And I'm like, what to do about this? I also want to have a room that's dedicated as an office for me. I, you know, with the housing market, I've looked a little bit on like Zillow. Zillow? Is that the... I've looked at houses, but like prices are just... I don't want to overpay for a house right now. Like, my my thought was I'd look start looking again in like February and see where we're at. Um, our lease renews every June, so I'm trying to also time it so we're not paying for two places, you know, at the same time. Yeah, I don't know. It's rough. Maybe I should start looking again. Now is probably a good time, honestly, to look because it's winter. Not a lot of people. The housing market's pretty, like, quiet in the winter months. I don't know. Maybe I have to accept that Spike and I will have to pay for two different places for a couple months. I don't know. Well, exactly. I mean, that's the thing. It's like, yeah, it's the uh, real estate is pretty quiet during these uh, January and February. My dad actually used to be a real estate agent for many, many years, and yeah, yeah. You, you, yep. That's. I wish we had done that. I wish we had done that. Um, I know other people who did the same that bought right before the pandemic and. Oh, I have so many regrets. Because I thought about it, but... Yeah, I should have... I, I really should have hopped on that, and now it's too late. Because now it's like everything is, like, priced one way above market value to begin with. And then... Beyond that, you have to offer even higher than that. Because so many people are trying to buy right now. So it's like, you are paying so, so, so much above market value. And like, you know, let's say one day we, we you know, in a way a house is an investment, right? So like, if we're paying way above value as it is, we're not going to get much back for that house whenever the day comes that we buy and we sell it. So it's like... I don't know. I'm also kind of in this like thought of like, I want to just buy a forever home and that be it. Like I don't want to, I dealt with as a, like my childhood a lot and I don't want that. I want to find a house, settle down and that, that be it. Obviously there can be like, outside circumstances I can't control, but that, that's kind of my, my hope. I want to stay in the area though, yeah. Hi Kirby.
Yeah, I think my big thing is like, because Spike and I both work from home, I need, I need space. That's another thing is I need a house with a lot of, like we need, minimum I want four bedrooms and a basement. Like, because we would each need our own uh, offices. We need a bedroom and then a guest room. So, I mean, when you have two people working from home, <laughs> oh, what the fuck am I doing? I wanted a hold on. If I didn't need two offices, then I'd be like, yeah, a two bedroom would be fine. A room for us and a guest bedroom, but... Lost, I've honestly have just like lost hope of ever getting a home. I, yeah. I feel like it's gonna be too difficult and expensive to get what we want. And I also worry about even getting a loan because Spike and I are both self employed. So I just like, I, I, I don't know. I feel pretty. The whole idea of it all sounds super stressful to me, and I, yeah. It gives me a lot of anxiety, honestly. So I don't even know what to do. Okay. 
I think we're gonna give up for now on here. Yeah, I get a 1099 from Twitch. Where am I going? See if this is a long shot can get us a boss so I guess that would, yeah. Yeah, I didn't even think about that. Yeah, the 1099 would probably be. It's not the same as, like, you know, I don't have monthly, like, I don't have pay stubs or anything. I just have my once a year tax, my 1099. So I would hope that that would be enough. I mean, I can also show, like, because Twitch has analytics where you can show what you make every month. Um, it's not like a like an official pay stub, but like you can show. Oh yeah, I made this much this month. I made this much this month. I don't know. I just like I keep on thinking about how the one Spike tried to. Spike tried to open an account with my bank and they accused him of like fraud or something because they like didn't understand Twitch and they told and they gave him his deposit is like his uh, money back that you used to open an account because he tried to deposit a check and they they told him they like accused him of fraud or something and they told they gave him back his his money and told him never to come back and so i'm like all all freaked out about like okay but that was such a process to try to get him a, a bank account i couldn't imagine trying to get a loan <laughs> you hope that's what you hope Emmy. i yeah also shadow lady sif thank you for the 16 months my friend welcome back to the bomb squad Sorry, friend, appreciate you. yeah i just i get honestly i get a lot of anxiety over like things like this that involves like official paperwork and stuff because it always is such a process you know i get ner i get very anxious about the dmv i get very anxious of why did she um the idea of changing my last name you know like stuff like that it just makes me like nope 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 i don't want to deal with that i i hate when i have to renew my driver's license I, I, anything that has to do with those types of paperwork I just don't want it. Thank you, Cause. So, yeah, I'm sure with that knowledge, I'm sure you can imagine the, the idea of buying a house. Super, super overwhelming. Super, super overwhelming to me.
that's like a lot of paperwork, a lot of stuff that I just don't even know where you begin because I've never bought a house before. I don't know much about buying a house. I, I worry about getting ripped off or like buying a house and it ends up having a bunch of problems. Like I know you used to do home inspections, but I also know that like sometimes, I don't know, people get home inspections and things don't get picked up. So I just, it just sounds very stressful. In reality, I should talk to my dad, who used to be a real estate agent for many years, and he would probably be helpful. Yeah, that's true. There's also, there is a lot of exciting parts about it, too. Yeah. Like, there, the, I'm sure the satisfaction of, like, finally, like, getting to that point where you own the home is, is super, super satisfying. tried it without looking up how to do it to see if I remembered and I did. I really would I would have popped off if that was the key actually, but it's okay. Oh, 
don't know. Earlier I had too many bones, so. Gosh, now I just want to look at houses. I should honestly, like, get together with my dad. And you know, Spike should get together with my dad, you know, during this pandemic time. And <laughs> that's the other thing, too, is now after all this. Oh, God. I think first step is I need to look at houses. It's like look at Zillow, get an idea of what houses are going to cost. Disgust if we think that's uh, doable. I don't, well that's the thing, Fox, yeah, is, that's what I was saying is that, yeah. I don't want to buy through Zillow, I just want to look at houses, you know. Get an idea of what pricing is going to look like right now. And what's on the market. I think Zillow is a good tool for like, just like, you know, getting a feel for what's out there and what, um, yeah. Oh, is that what I should be doing? Is just get together with a realtor first? Okay, that's the better option. Yeah. That was all straight up. Do you know what that website is, Nathan? Or could you share it? Or is it maybe if it's area specific, maybe not? Yeah, I just, like, want to get an idea before I... I guess my thing is... Oh, wow. Yeah. I, I just want to, like... I just would like to look at what... Yeah. Just look at houses and get an idea before I like hop into it fully. If it's free to yeah. Yeah. I should just talk to my my ex real estate agent dad. That that's really what I should do. I think that will give me the best. That's good to know about Zillow, though, because... Oh, shoot. Wait, hold on. My my grandma's here to drop off something. Sorry. Hold on. I'll be right back. Emergency break.
All right, let's go. I was wondering. Well, thank you for looking, Nathu. Yeah, that, that unfortunately will not help me. <laughs> yeah, I'm not interested in moving uh, out of state at all. I, between friends and family and uh, my doctor and celiac and also just really love living in the Chicago area. There's like so much to do here. Yeah. <laughs> like I've thought about moving to other states. Like I really was interested in uh, Minnesota at one point. Still interested. I still really like the idea of Minnesota, but... It's, it would still be just far from everyone. I don't want to move far away from Saints and Cassie. I would be so sad if I couldn't just... Like, Saints is, like, right down the road from me. If, if I had to... If I moved hours away from her, I would be not okay. <laughs> like, yes is, like, something like... Minnesota or Wisconsin or or Michigan, like not bad for traveling for the holidays. Yeah, it's not too far. But in terms of like hanging out with my friends, no. Yeah, that's like my thing is like I have a big like I feel very yeah I would not be I would not be okay if I moved away from my friends like got lucky we got lucky yeah I just like also like Chicago hosts a lot of great things like I love going to Lollapalooza everywhere everywhere every year um, I love going to Anime Central every year. Um, it's easy to, if there's like an artist I want to see, like a band, there's usually going to be a concert in the Chicago area. And if not, there's going to be one in like Milwaukee, which isn't like terribly bad to go to Milwaukee for a concert. So It's just so convenient. It's so convenient living here. There's a lot of great restaurants that are celiac safe, which isn't always the case in other places. Um, yeah. All right, let's go beat our first boss, Morpha, two hours in. Hi, Brando. Make sure to pick up some Pedialyte. I'm a big like believer. Pedialyte, Pedialyte helped made my made my vaccines very easy. Hard. And moving to another state, I can imagine, is just, it's a lot. It's 
it's it's a lot of work and it's like moving is stressful to begin with yeah and it's a lot of work to begin with i couldn't imagine having to move all of our stuff and kitty mod to another state like i i couldn't i couldn't imagine that sounds like a nightmare Oh gosh, yeah, that's that's a lot. Oh goodness graciousness. That would be so stressful. Washington back to Florida a few years ago. That's ugh, gross. Nope, nope. Yeah, and it's expensive too. Like that's the other that's the other thing too, is like you know, things like your your mattress, your bed frame, couches, like if you you either pay a bunch to move those with you or you uh God damn it, dude. Well, that's fucked. Um. Or you just accept that you're gonna buy all new furniture. I think I'm just gonna let this one die. That was bad. <laughs> that was when Spike moved in with me. He thought about bringing... Uh, he had a newer mattress than I. Like, we wanted to get a new mattress because mine was kind of older. And, um, when we looked at the price for him to move his mattress and stuff over, we were like, let's just buy a brand new mattress at that point. Like, it's going to be way more worth it to just buy a new mattress. Even though his was, like, only a year old, he had just bought a new mattress. Oh, heck. I... Why am I struggling today? Many bones. Right, Kimon? You have too many bones, too? That's the look she gave me when I asked her. Like, what? Bones? Why can't I get this? What is going on? You know, very telling. That just says a lot, you know? There was a lot in that.
I had to make a choice between coming and getting this or doing, um... Doing the hammer rocks and maybe I made the wrong call there. We should go to Forest Temple entrance. Why is it, why are we struggling? Why are we just struggling? Deku Tree or Danago's Cavern, which is bullshit. I pushed the A to put the jump! No, Venrit! Thank you for the 10 pack! Wowie, wowie, zowie. Thank you, thank you so much. Everybody, welcome to the ba bomb Squad! <laughs> thank you, Venrit. I appreciate the support. Thank you, thank you. Thank you for pushing the A to do the jump. Fight it. Hey mom, why you look so annoyed? Why is my camera doing so much like flashing now? dungeon I can beat. Thank you. My goodness. Tired all of a sudden. I feel like it's so hard to get back into the swing of things after the holidays. Especially since a week later it's New Year's Eve. And then we go into GDQ. I just like feel like there's no time to like, I don't know. As always, I feel so overwhelmed during this time of year. Because of all of that. Can I grab that from here? Can I like just, I wonder if that's a thing I can do. Yeah. Yeah. Long shot it. Thank you. 
nothing in here. Alright, I still have to shoot the flame, unfortunately. Do you need to jump down? Why are you nervous? Dude. You got this. You'll be great. I'm a little nervous too, honestly. I'm nervous about hosting. game are you commentating for? <gasps> Donut County! Hey, That'll be good. That'll be chill. Are you kidding me? <laughs> You'll do great. too, Nathan. That's not like a super long run. Like, you're not going for like three hours, so like that, that should also help. Yeah, it'll be chill. Can't check Deku Tree, unfortunately, but see what this gives us. Vanilla. Yeah, I feel like you know, Ian, unfortunately. That happens in all faucets of life, not just GDQ. I um, understand what happened to you at GDQ, but sometimes all you can do is just move on and find better people who actually appreciate you. Have ex I have experienced that too, where people I thought were my friends really weren't, and okay. it's hard to accept, but like, you know, and sometimes I, I think about those people and I'm sad that it turned out the way it did, but all I can do is, uh, you know, appreciate the people I do have in my life and 
thankful for that. Maybe we'll get Song of Storms here. That would be good. Then we can get into Bottom of the Well. Hopefully between the two we get uh, Dodongo's Cavern. DMC is way of Dodongo's Cavern, so yeah, yeah, Dodongo's Cavern is going to be in the well. That's got to be it. Well, let's see what's in this dungeon, though. Yeah, that's and that's the other thing too is uh, time does gen like as generic and cliche as that is, time does heal all wounds. Like, okay, so we can beat this. Sorry, I'm like all over the place. We can beat this. We can hopefully. This means that Dodongo's Cavern is in the well. So that puts us at one, two, three, four dungeons. Still collecting these just in case I hard need 50. Um, if we can find a mirror shield, then we're in go mode. If we can find hovers, we're in go We're in glow mode. We don't have, yeah. Uh, hovers puts us in glow mode. Your shield puts us in glow mode. Uh, iron boots or gold scale puts us in glow mode. Every year is this week always feels bizarre like you know no matter which way you spin it yeah everything just feels out of whack that's exactly what it is always this this week between Christmas and New Year's because it's like most of us I think go back to work this week you know we still go to work some people take off the whole time. Typically if you have kids, I think that's more so the norm, but like, it's a weird, it's a weird week. And then for like us in the speedrunning sphere, GDQ sphere, like, it's also right before AGDQ happens too. So there's just like a lot of weirdness where you just feel out of whack. Hey! 
Jeez, Nathan, I'm glad you got a new position. Yeah, that's very stressful, though. That's that's a lot for yeah this time of year. I know. Can you? I can't believe we're about to go into 2022 here. I that is also within itself super surreal. feels weird. It's like not winter weather. There's no snow. Everything's just weird. Hi, fan. How's it going? Back off. definitely been an improvement this year, but general though it gets really cold here in january normally and that's when i see more snow so i'm curious to see how uh this january is gonna shape up Thank you. 
Yeah, that's, I'm big wondering, like, obviously COVID numbers have been, like, kind of skyrocketing recently with this new variant, plus the holidays, and I'm, I'm wondering if we're gonna see any, like, backtracking where things start to close again at all, or, I feel like we won't, but I do, obviously, like, going to a different country, that's a different story. I'm supposed to go to Disney in February, and I'm feeling kind of nervous about that. Yeah, fan. No, I agree with that. Yeah. I could see them tightening up restrictions on travel, like to other countries. Or other countries doing that, but I don't see, yeah, anything closing. I hope you get to go on your trip though, and that doesn't work. Obviously, whatever, you know, respect whatever the. I respect whatever the decisions are, especially of other countries, letting people in their country, but. I hope you're. I know you were looking forward to it, so I hope uh, you're able to go. So too, that's that's very stressful. when my family says stuff where I'm like, you're, you're believing, you know, you're, you're listening to the wrong, you're not listening to good news sources. You're listening to your friends on Facebook. That's not how you do research and, you know, but I always, at the end of it, kind of decide. I know that, I, 
somebody said the other day to me, like, you know how hard it is for humans to keep things a secret or whatever? And how hard it is to coordinate people, you know, for like, anything? Like, think about like a group project. Could you imagine all these people in charge putting together this global hoax? And no, nothing has come out that like, you know, like that, that's the part that like, I'm like. And I, and I respect, you know, being skeptical. Like I, I can respect that. Like, you know, we, we get fed, you know, sometimes there are like things that are, you know, but like, do you know how much effort and coordination and people working together that would take? I would be real impressed. I'd be really, really impressed if this was some type of hoax at this point for now two years. Oh gosh, I heard about that too, Nathan. We talked about that at Thanksgiving. Because uh, Spike's little sister lives in Dallas and they were talking about those people. Yeah. JFK and and Michael Jackson, I think there there's something about Michael Jackson, I think. Like people were gathering there, like believing that yeah, that they were gonna show up. And I don't remember the whole story, but family members who think like yeah it, it's like they I have family members who believe it's a hoax so that hospitals can get money which I don't understand that reasoning because there's like this is way beyond just hospitals <laughs> first of all and I, okay, I don't know if anyone can clear this up for me because I actually don't. They, they say that when, when, uh, hospitals say that there's, someone has COVID, they get money for it? Where, where does that come from? Is that like an, I, and that's something I haven't looked into myself. I don't know, maybe no one actually knows where that comes from. Like, I just don't understand where that comes from and if there's any truth with that event. Because I'm not here to say that they're, you know, I, I don't know either way, but like, I'm, I'm just like, baffled that people think that this is a whole giant, na like, global scale thing so that U.S. hospitals could get money. Like, that, that's the part that doesn't make sense to me, how you could believe that.
Okay, so there is like a, I, I was wondering where that came from. So yeah, thank you for like clearing up that. That's what that comes from. So like, it's the way that I've heard it, it definitely oversimplifies. It makes it sound like, oh, for each patient you have, you get like a thousand dollars or something like that. Not, I don't know how much money they would say, but like that's, that's what like I've had people tell me. And I'm like, I don't, that's, not that I'm saying it's not true that they don't maybe get some type of relief money or something, but the concept of this being made up for that reason doesn't make any sense to me. That that doesn't check out for me. All right, that's done. Now we need to go do, we can go do the Dongo's Cavern. Which I think is in bottom of the well. We still don't have our our lights, but those could just be in cannons. They're not in like shadow. I think at this point, shadow temple would probably be pretty bad. Or having to get fifty skulls would be pretty bad. Now I've been collecting skulls just in case. I'm trying to think here of what would be in the Deku tree. What? Uh, what dungeons we haven't found? GTG? I think GTG's in the Deku Tree. Yeah, I think Dodongo's Cavern is going to be in Bottom of the Well and then GTG's in the Deku Tree. That sounds about right. Uh, we'll know for sure here, but that the way the hints are, that's... I'm gonna just... That sounds right. Well, that's... Yeah, you... You also have news channels that... I was talking about this with uh, somebody recently. Where there's news channels that... You know, like... Fox News does this. I think CNN does this. That they have certain, you know, programs that are like actual news, right? But then they have these over dramatized things that aren't really supposed to be taken seriously. But people do take them seriously, and it's kind of this weird, I don't know, where they do programming that's more dramatized and opinion, and yeah. But the problem is, people, and this is not like a, I, I want to like be clear, this is all faucets of, you know, no matter what your like political background is. Because I think a lot of times we talk about Fox, I think Fox News is one we talk about a lot, but it's other ones too, like CNN and I can't think of other ones. But, you know, where they do these shows that dramatize and focus on opinion rather than facts and... But people watch these shows thinking, oh yeah, this is the news. And they take this stuff as like the, the hard truth, which is not, not good. I'm just trying to pee for my kid. Yeah, and I don't know, I'm like, maybe that's something we don't talk about enough that, you know, I feel like there's unfortunately a lot of people who take a lot of stuff as fact and don't look into it more. But unfortunately, because they heard it, quote unquote, on the news, you, you like, can't reason. I find that I can't reason with them. I don't know what, I don't know what you do in that situation.
I'm gonna go get Chipotle. I haven't had Chipotle in forever. I'm not gonna lie, a burrito bowl kinda sounds good today. I'm gonna be real honest. Burrito bowl sounds good. I have not had a burrito bowl in forever. Alright, so because we're in glow mode, we're gonna actually just go ahead and beat this dungeon. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and do the chew trick. So we can learn where our uh, items are. Where our... Because here's the thing. And let's say theoretically lights are in Ganon's castle. But all of a sudden, me taking the time to look for items here is not helpful. There may be a reason to come and look for items here after we find out the location. Like if we find out it's in Shadow Temple. Okay, well maybe we need to come back here and find hovers. Um, it's in Fire Temple. We gotta come back here and maybe find... Yeah, I don't know. Or a mirror shield or something. So, yeah, I think this is the game play. For sure. Oh, there's Chipotle near me. I just don't ever go. That requires me leaving the house. I'm talking to people. I don't think- I think so many people don't understand to the extent that I am a homebody. And don't like leaving and don't like talking like- I'm so glad Spike is, wants to go to the grocery store all the time. Because he wants to, like, get out and leave the house. Where I'm like, I, I don't want to leave the house. I, I, I am very happy being home. I just want to be home. Oh, Boomer! Okay, well, that's Jabu Jabu. Well, we can't get in Jabu Jabu, but yeah. I know, Tetra, I, so we get imperfect foods um, every week, but that's not enough. Usually I have to get other items at the grocery store. But yeah, I, that was, I felt spoiled. Like now I can't justify, here's the thing, is now that we're vaccinated and stuff, I can't justify paying for Grubhub or paying for like regular grocery deliveries. I can't justify that anymore. So, yeah, I, it, nope. Well, that's the thing, it's like when I, I'm like, oh, I want some of this food. And when we were in the pandemic, I just be like, okay, yeah, I'll pay for some Grubhub. I'll do some DoorDash. I got Grubhub whatever premium or plus or whatever during the pandemic because we were ordering so much that it was worth it. Now it's definitely not worth it by any means. I've also been so, uh, someone who I would never get pizza delivered either because I'm like, why would I pay for a delivery fee and stuff when I can just go to the pizza place myself? Like, I can't, I, I, there's just like so many things where I'm like, I can't justify spending that money. So then I end up just not doing it. <laughs> uh, Imperfect Foods is, uh, yeah, it's, they have pro, they have lots of things. Wait. One, two, three, four. Did I not do five dungeons? 
Did I not complete five dungeons? I didn't complete five dungeons. What the fuck is wrong with me? Why did I think I completed five dungeons? What happened? Why did I thought we were good? Heck, I probably should have checked out uh, the Nongo's Cavern, but <laughs> what happened? Why did I get confused? Well, I can do- No, I can't do Jabba Jabba because it's in the Shadow Temple. All right, I need to go to the bathroom. We'll be right back. And then I'll talk about what Imperfect Foods is because I'm going to pee my pants. So, Imperfect Foods is, the food is cheaper because it's quote-unquote imperfect. It's not, um, like, like, grocery stores want fruits and vegetables to, like, look a certain way, essentially. And if they don't look perfect, then they get trashed. So, Imperfect Foods sells produce that grocery stores maybe couldn't sell. Uh, sell otherwise and they'll state on the website why that produce is in there like um is there scarring on it is it like too small is it too large um is there just a surplus of that product and imperfect foods is selling it so things don't go bad um and there's other things like um non-perishables like sometimes they'll put the wrong date on it or There'll be a misprint on the box. 
Um, so they also sell those as well. Um, so you get you get it for cheaper because it's there's imperfections on them. Um, yeah, they sell a lot of stuff. They also sell stuff that isn't imperfect now. They've like expanded so that you know people can get more groceries from them. But they started off, I think, as mostly fruits and vegetables. So we we get uh that's where we buy most of our produce, and then we'll get stuff from the grocery store if needed later. Um. And they change their, like, inventory all the time, so sometimes they won't have stuff that I want in stock, but... Yeah. It's, it's... I big recommend it, honestly. Hashtag not sponsored. Why is this always so difficult? There we go. Alright. Just in case GTG is a thing, we're gonna keep getting yeah. it. I finally so uh, so last night when we were able to finally now post um our wedding photos. I got super like I don't know. I got very excited. So I ordered high quality prints of all the photos finally. And I found like a I wanted to get like a USB like a special USB thing for uh putting all the photos on for safekeeping. So I got that. I found like a, a like a wooden box where they like will put a customized thing on it. So I put like our wedding date on it and then it comes with um, it's a box that has like a thing for your USB to go in, which they provide as part of the box and um, storage for your photos. So I spent a bunch of money on photos. What's worth? Yeah, that's, I got like, it's it's an engraved USB port, or uh, not port, but drive, yeah. That's what I bought. I think there was an option to like add that on, but I figured I could get it cheaper after the wedding, so. Then like with the company, so. Get that. But yeah, they are, it's like, you know, they are very special photo photos, so it's worth the price. That was like the one thing I was like, I'm splurging on for the wedding was photos. Ooh, a smoothie sounds delicious. Enjoy your smoothie. Hey. 
Yeah, yeah that's like photos are the one thing you're gonna have, you know, kind of forever after the wedding. It's the one thing you are, you'll have for the day. To remember it, so. Um, well, there's jack shit in here. Oh, heck and hacker. where I need either a fire source or again that scale. I should check 10 and 20 souls. We can go into Shadow Temple. Like the one that's in Ice Cavern. We can only do two checks and it's a lot to go back there and it's not in logic. So I like kind of don't want to do that. You're doing that with the hope that one of the two items is something that's progression. Okay, why is my camera flashing so much? Does anyone know why that would be like the colors keep flashing like that on my webcam? Because I've never had this issue before and now it's like all of a sudden it's happening a lot and I don't know what to do about it. I need to add like a filter or something. Oh, well, there we go. Okay. Here's our flowers. And our scale. Oh my gosh. All right. Do we want to do shadow temple or fire temple? I think we do fire temple because there's more of a chance that you uh, get bailed out early based on the boss key. So I think you go do fire temple. Fingers crossed that it's not deep fire for the boss key. We still need our lights, but this will give us our... Yeah. Wow. Skulls were huge this seed. Just in case. Um, GTG. I'm really worried that GTG is gonna be where our lights are and we need 50 souls to get there. So. Thank you. 
case scenario right now for lights is gonna be um, bottom of the well is in Jabu Jabu, so we would need Rudo's letter to get there. That would really stink. Uh, Spirit Temple would stink because that means that we'd have to get Mirror Shield at this point. Not many checks left in there that aren't Mirror Shield locked. There's a couple. Um, Jabu Jabu would stink because we need Dins to get into there. So, although we do luckily have a lot of items, there's still a lot up in the air. In places we're locked out of. Also don't want to hear GTG, but at least we know we have to just rush a bunch of skulls, which wouldn't be fun, but... It's not, like, impossible. Hopefully this boss if he shows up not too long. I just want to snuggle with Kimon. I have to leave the house today because I do have to pick up Kitimon more medication. That stinks. I don't want that. I also need to pick myself up some medication too. I wanted to re... I always like to re... Uh, stock up on my meds, whatever I can, at the end of the year. Because Lord knows dealing with insurance and stuff is... Sometimes spooky at the beginning of the year because they change things and then I have problems getting my, my stuff. And as a type 1 diabetic, that can be very frightening since I need that stuff to be alive, so... I do both of those things this afternoon. Maybe we'll just do some, like, cake tonight. And chill. I don't know. Also just sleepy, man. Forever.
Yes, Paper Mario. Yeah. Yeah, I've been working on setting up a Golden Piggies file for uh, the Switch. I have 999 coins, but I did want to get all the partners. So we're in the toy box right now, so we have to do that. We have to go to uh, Yoshi. And then flower fields. I think that's everything. And that gets all the partners then. I love Paper Mario, it's so good. What if the game just gave me lights now? That would be really awesome. With my luck, lights are in the Shadow Temple, and I'm gonna have to go do it anyways on Bongo. <gasps> are you kidding me? Blink, are you freaking kidding me? Where's the block that rises and lowers? Oh my gosh. Where's that block? Where's the one that raises and lowers? Why can't I find it ever? I'm just struggling. today. I guess we're doing a 
four cycle because the game decided to not cooperate. Dungeons beaten actually for real this time. Where the heck is our lights? What's your guesses, chat? What are you thinking? How are you feeling about this? I'm scared. I am worried. Before we go, as I said, there's a couple of nasty places they could be. GTG would suck because we need to find 20 more skulls to get in there. Um, without even the guarantee, maybe you need irons to do the toilet for it. Who knows? Um, Spirit would be bad. Jabu would be bad. Those would be the three locations I really don't want to see. Um, yeah. Oh, and bottom of the well, because that, that I would need to find Rudo's letter for that one. So those would all be potentially, obviously we want it somewhere where we can access right now. That's, that's you know, ideally what you want with the light. Um, you hope that maybe it was just in Ganon's castle and that's why you didn't find it. Uh, 50 skulls is the Kokiri sword, uh, which GTG is inside the Deku tree, so. Thank <laughs> you. 
for me. Kakariko Village? Thirty? Chickens? They are freaking on you. Forty skulls is dead. We haven't gotten a thirty hit, so uh, hello? So chickens are 30 skulls. Or re I haven't checked the redeg grotto. Okay. They're somewhere accessible. Hopefully not chickens. Hopefully not forced chickens. But... I think that's it for Kakariko. Oh, I haven't done the archery, adult archery either. There's been quite a few checks in here I haven't done. All right. Well, we'll check this. We'll check the grotto. Archery and then chickens are last. All right. 30 is... The schoolhouse just loaded. No. No required 50. Okay. Is it in this grotto? Alright. Fast prediction. Here we go. Oh. oh I gotta delete this one. All right, fast prediction, 50-50 chance. Chickens have lights? Yes, no. All right. Get your predictions in real quick here. Oh, hell. If I'm not mistaken, these are the only two checks left here. I'm like trying to think if there's anything else. I did the man on the roof, I did the grotto. I talked to Anju, I, yeah. I did the cow. So it's gotta be this or chickens. I'm paying off because I just want to confirm that they're on chickens. Maybe I forgot something. So I'm not going to pay it off till we actually check chickens, but looking like chickens here. 
about to be chicken in chicken in chicken's way of the hero chickens at this point. There's no way they're not. Yeah, I can't think of anything else that would be... Unless I turned on a setting like Shop Sanity for some reason. Or I actually didn't check the grotto for some reason, but that doesn't make sense. Jabu Jabu, or Bottom of the Well, or even Shadow Temple. I'm thankful for that. But at the end of the day, you want it to be on a check that you can actually do. Thank you. 
beat the game now. We just gotta go slay that piggy. Then I can go eat some lunch. medicine and my medicine have a meeting and then we can do something comfy maybe maybe I don't know maybe I'll also just like do another tutor seed because apparently I like to be miserable One of those would have been at least one of those would have been a very quick Triforce piece hunt. I've done, done a number of two seed days, but it always seems to be not good when I do a two seed day. Two seeds just don't. I don't know. Second seed is always mean. Why? I don't know! Am <laughs> I playing Forbidden Memories? Is he okay?
Black Spotter is playing Inscription, a game that Seder really wants me to play.